Greetings. Good to be together today. As we open up our Bibles, open up our hearts, open up our minds and our lives to what God might say to us today. You know, as I've looked back over a uh, recent couple of years and, and uh, just kind of some of the things that society, society, politically, all the different things that go on and you know, you just kind of scratch your head sometimes and wonder what, what in the world's happening. And it can really bring about a lot of anxiety in our lives. And I, I, and it, and I know that. And I, I think none of us are exempt from that. There's a lot of circumstances in your life and my life that come our way in the course of our, our span of, of walking on this earth that are very difficult, very challenging. I know many of you have lost loved ones and friends and family. Uh, and you know what that grief is like, and, and s- as well as I do. And, and these are things that, that happen. We have health things that happen to us. We have health things that happen to ones that we love and care about. We have, the list is you know, financial issues that come on, career issues, different things that happen that you know, sometimes are unexpected and so on. But, you know, and it can create you know, an anxiousness uh, inside of us. And I, I think this proverb speaks to that. So it's out of the 12th chapter of Proverbs. And we're just going to read this one uh, verse today. Uh, in verse 25, it says, anxiety in the heart of man causes depression. I just want you to just let that sink for just a second. You know, anxiety in the heart of man causes depression. And either God's word is true or it's not. You know, for me, it's not. It's, it's pretty cut and dry. And either God knows what He created and how it works and how it functions. The Bible also describes about you and I and our the framework of how we were made and designed. It says you and I were fearfully and wonderfully made, as it's describing the design of just, and, and as now we have all of this ex- exploration and DNA and all of these different things. I mean, it's fascinating, the design of humanity and, uh, and just creation around us. If this, the latter part, it says, of, of the same verse, it says, but, and, and that's often the proverb, right? There's something said, and then there's a, oh yeah, but, and it says, but a good work, word makes it glad. A good word makes it glad. So sometimes you and I can be in a very difficult spot. And then we're reading through and we're finding, oh, that was something very encouraging that God spoke to my heart. It was a good word. And it almost, as we stepped out by faith, it actually just kind of dispelled the the faith as we're stepping out, dispels the fear and anxiety and it lifts that dark cloud of depression. It's an interesting thing to think through. I encourage you and challenge you to spend time in God's Word, turn on some good praise and worship music with some substance and depth to it, worship the Lord, read through the Word, let God speak to your heart. I have found it can just kind of lift even the weightiest of things in my life. So, this idea of anxiety in the heart. When, it, when we read this in the New Testament, it talks about be anxious in Philippians. It says, be anxious for nothing, but through prayer and supplication, make your requests known to God. And the peace of God will guard your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. So it's an interesting little thing to tie into this thought is that when we read that in the New Testament, that word anxiety specifically means distracting cares. So when you think about becoming anxious about something, it often means we are distracted with worry and cares about something. And God would want to settle our hearts on him through prayer and making and our supplications, making our requests known to God. And so when we think about this and look at what happens, it, it, the anxiety inside of us causes depression. So we want to, I just say, flip this around get working at it kind of almost in back out of it is what I'm trying to say. Like take, hey, accept, I'm feeling kind of bummed. I'm kind of, I feel kind of, you know, worn out. What's going on? Am I anxious about something? If I am, cast all your cares upon him for he cares for you. Just see 
if some of these things won't provide some help and relief in the midst of anxious times and depression. And notice this, a good word makes it makes a good word makes it glad. It lifts the heart. Maybe you and I could speak a good word to someone else. Maybe we could be that agent that helps to lift someone else's heart. God bless you. Have a great day today.